Hello everyone! Welcome to Manila, London. Today we're going to set up how to make a vermicast or a compost in our raised bed. So this is the raised bed that we are going to use. I dug this raised bed the other day. Oh my god, I was so tired. But it's gonna be worth it. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to set up this vermicasting and also at the same time is gonna be our compost. So first we need the bucket we can buy some buckets everywhere and also all you need is your kitchen scrap and Steve bought me some worms <laughs> Got a nipple on the top of the bucket so you see there mm -hmm. um, when you get the center of this thing you can line it up to the center of that Oh, yeah. drill around it? Yeah. We're just, you could just do a dot. Yeah, that's what I mean, just dot. Well, I do, I suppose, yeah. So two bucket is done as you can see it damaged a little bit that's fine and also there's a little hole as you can see at the very bottom right two bucket is done i'll show you the raised bed that i dug the other day a bit chilly and it's a bit windy so stay with me now this is the raised bed that I dug the other day as you can see my god from there to here I don't know if you can determine the hole from there and to this side as well I removed my drip system line the kitchen scrap is full and look at this this is ready to go to the ground Ooh. So this is all you need and this should be in a garbage but you have to save it and make it as a compass let's take this out and there's more now this is all you need we need some paper if you have shredded paper that's fine and we have some cardboard kitchen scrap more in here and a kitchen scrap as well and also the dry leaves and now we're going to layer them okay i dug the other one hopefully it's deep as it is right let's add this Ooh, nearly perfect but well, that's fine because we're gonna cover it and also we're gonna add more soil on here oh, happy with that so we made the big hole at the bottom so the worms come in and out perfect in here so one is gonna be there and the other one I think it's too low I want that high like that and then at this bottom as you can see I dug a little bit I can add more on those side as well right but this is the main one see I think this is 14 liters yeah this is 14 liters as Steve said right I'm happy with that first the cardboard worms like that cardboard the 
in the water. Now the kitchen scrap. And look at that. You can use this kitchen scrap. And also the teas and everything. Paper. Water again. Wow. We're cooking here. Now let's add more kitchen scrap here. This is just like um uh, just break it as much as you can. And then just water it and the final one Steve bought some worms yeah I don't know what it's gonna be look like yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. can you see that Ooh. look can you see that so we're gonna add that okay Ooh. loads of worms right they're gonna be in here and another one they're gonna like it Ayan na sila, mga worms. Alright, those worms gonna happy with that. Ayan na. Right, so the worms going down and they're going to dig in. So I'm going to do the same process on the other one. This bucket has lead. We need to cover this. Voila. And the worm as well. Look at that. That's the last recipe. Oh. Here. <laughs> I'm going to scatter all of this as well.
We've done two vermicompost. This is the first rice bed that we've done. Right, so I don't want to open that. You know what's inside it. That's going to be nice and healthy soil because this is really deep. And let's check the other one. It's all done as well. I put one bucket on each raised bed because they really need a vermicompost there. And also, we're not going to waste our kitchen scrub and it's going to be add on to that bucket. And as you can see, I didn't fill this because I'm going to add more kitchen scrub and dry leaves and all these leaves that I can remove from here like just like that I can just add into this bucket mm. the worm will be happy on that so that's how you do your vermi compost it's really easy Thank you very much for watching Manila London. We now have a merch store with quite a lot on offer. Take a look at our Teespring from our channel page. Or you can hit a like, a subscribe or one of these tiles and stay with Manila London that little bit longer. Thank you for watching.